will attack Yuan Shao. Wait, cousin. We're no match for him militarily. You, of all people, should know. If we do nothing, then Yuan Shao will swallow the North whole. The time to act is now. His influence must be nipped in the blood. The Allied forces succeed in foiling the evil ambition of Dong Zhuo. However, this is only the beginning of an age of unrest. The numerous leaders of the Allied forces return to their territories and begin their personal quest to take over the land. Cao Cao himself returns to Hernan, where he welcomes the Emperor and begins a mass military buildup. But the esteemed Yuan Shao, whose enormous army commands the entire Herbei region, would become an immediate obstacle for Cao Cao. Furthermore, with Lu Bu in the east at Xiaopi and Zhang Xiu in the south at Wan Castle, Cao Cao is trapped within a wall of enemies. If Cao Cao could turn these threats into opportunity, the dream of absolute conquest will come closer to fruition. Alright, so here is the next act, the rise of Cao Cao. I mean, we've been there, we've done it. Um, we're gonna go and try to unlock two particular tales. One of them is Dong Zhuo lives, we have to skip the battle of Wan Castle. As for the battle of Xiaopi, it didn't say anything about not doing it, but at the same time, it didn't say skip it. So, I'm going to skip them both and go straight into the battle of Guandu, since part of the other uh, task for Dong Zhuo lives, if I'm not mistaken, is to complete it under uh, 10 stages or less. And, uh, I mean, this is one of the particular tales that actually I haven't unlocked myself. So... I'm just hoping I didn't screw up, but uh, anyway, so with all that said, we're going to play the battle of Guan Du and unlock the second tale of uh, Yuan's family pride. And in order to do that, you have to defeat every general and make sure Yuan shower retreats. And obviously from the last part, make sure you skip Siege Street Gate, which we did. So skip Siege Street Gate and play the stage and have Yuan shower retreat. Plain and simple, right? Well, in my case, not so much. I'm telling you right now, if you want to unlock that tail, you want to show the uh, Yuan family pride, I recommend you playing about Xia P first because, well, we're going to have Lu Bu here because uh, we skipped about Xia P altogether. But with all that said, I'm going to change characters and I feel like my best chance is having a character I know for a fact that has a class 2 weapon. And the one person I know for a fact that has it, that I haven't played as numerous times already, well, in this particular Musu to begin with, I'm not counting the last Musu mode, is uh, Zhang Liao. I only played him one time, from the time that I started this for the second time. So, I know I played as him before, but not in this new line in the Musu mode, not in the redo. But anyway, he has a second model, so might as well... Alright, so the equipment, the weapon, we have a great blade at level 4. The items, the only thing I'm going to add is the peacock urn, so there we go. The bodyguards, I'm going to keep at 8, obviously. The objectives, we have to defeat Yuan Shao to win. Well, in this case, if we're going to unlock that tail, Yuan's family pride, we have to have him retreat. That's also a victory. And uh, Cao Cao is defeated, if I die, or if we run out of time, we lose, it's game over. Plain and simple, the unit info for Cao Cao's forces, we have Cao Cao, Cheng Yu, and Zheng Liao, which is me, Man Chang with uh, Cao Hong, Xun Yu, Xu Huang with Yui Jin, Simi Yi with Guo Jia, Guan Yu, Li Dian, Yu Jin with Wang Long, Wei Xu, and Sung Xian which those two will probably last no longer than a minute. Uh, Shun Yu, and then for uh, Yuan Shao's forces, other than Yuan Shao, we have Yang Liang, Wen Chou, Yuan Shi with Guo Tu and Han Meng, Liu Bei with Zhang Fei, and Yuan Shang. And you notice that Zhang He is not under Yuan Shao's forces. Well, for the fact that I already unlocked Zhang He, if we go back and play the stage again, we won't have Zhang He as the enemy. So, that's one less general for me to worry about, but for the fact that I skipped the battle of Xia P, Lu Bu will be here, so that's more additional enemy I have to worry about. And, uh, 
Also, for a fun fact, which I show off later, well, I'm gonna definitely show off later. If you play the battle Shiap and have Lubu retreat, he will appear at the battle one castle. But we have to skip that stage. So, anyway, with all I said, let's do it. And like I said, my main concern really is <laughs> Lubu. That's the main concern for me. If I defeat Lubu, everything else is fine. I have never faced him before, too, here. So, we're gonna go and defeat Wen Cho. And, uh... I can get Wen Cho over here because I do not want my bodyguards to take the kills like they usually do. And he needs to get off his horse. What the hell was that? There we go. That's one. And after both, I think I mentioned it already, but if you... Both Song Xion and Wei Xu both fall, Guan Yu will come out and he'll start going after uh, uh, Yang Liang and Wen Chou. And he knows that Wen Chou is pretty buffed up at the moment because you see that little uh, electric thing going around him, so to speak. Once Guan Yu approaches either Yang Liang or Wen Chou, that wears off. Alright, so Wen Chou is down. Now we're gonna go. And, uh, defeat, who is it? Uh, Yuan Shan, uh, Yuan Shang, and then Liu Bei and Shang Fei. Because if you defeat Liu Bei before Guan Yu approaches Liu Bei, Guan Yu will not retreat at all. And, uh, I actually retested that the other day, uh, on a new file I was playing just for fun. And, uh, because there's some things I do test out just in case if I'm off, like I did one other time, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, so I will confirm that if you defeat Liu Bei before Guan Yu approaches uh, Liu Bei, then obviously he won't uh, retreat. And, uh, let's try to defeat Liu Bei before that happens. And would it be Han Mong as well, since he's right here? And he he needs to quit shielding it up. And oh, that would have been funny if he killed him. All right, Han Mong's down. Now let's try to go for Liu Bei. Well, if I go for Liu Bei, that's one thing. Let's go and defeat Zhang Fei. Might as well get as much weapon experience as I can. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, Zhang Fei's down. Now Liu Bei, if I could find him. Shit. Alright, he's down. I cannot die here, not before the Han is restored. Now we'll go for Yan Liang. And then after that, all that's left is Lu Bu. Oh wait, you want Shi? That's right. But yeah, now the fact that we defeated Liu Bei, uh, Guan Yu will not retreat. And uh, I'm gonna mine the Dim Sum in this stage. The Musun Wine we're not gonna get because we have to have either Bei Ma or Yan Jin to fall. And uh, that actually wouldn't matter if. 
when it comes to unlocking Yuan Shao's pride, well, the Yuan family pride tale, so to speak, uh, defeating Chun Yu Shang won't really matter uh, when it comes to uh, having one of those generals you need to defeat. If that opportunity is there, then you have to defeat him. But we're not going to. It won't pop up, so as long as it doesn't pop up, then we're good. And uh, I'm going to take the red hair. So there we go. And then, obviously, we'll defeat Yuan Shi. And then deal with Lu Bu. <laughs> he is the last one that we have to go for. Oh yeah, and that's right. You also have to defeat uh, Yuan Shao's uh, sub-generals. So he has, to be, he has to be the last one left before you uh, before he retreats. And that also includes officers. So... <laughs> They're pretty good. I want Guo Chu to pop up over here that way. Oh shit! Here we go. Lupu? How? How did he? Cow, cow! I will bury you. And as I said before, if you uh, if you skip the battle, Shiap, he will be here. And we defeated Guo Tu. Now we'll go and defeat Yuan Shi. And for the fact that I'm playing as Zhang Liao, I could actually see Lu Bu challenging me to a duel. Um, I'm not going to turn it down, but I am not going to try to really go after him. Because I know for a fact if I try, I'm going to fucking fall. So anyway... Alright, let's see what I can do, because I have a feeling I'm going to get crushed, and if that's the case, then I'm going to fucking book it. Because it seems like he's not flinching, and that's not a good thing. I can't wait when that... <laughs> Usually what becomes beneficial when I have the way of Musu, because I think I mentioned one time... Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, I might as well just run around and just hope for survival, because I know for a fact, especially since he just shielded up like a fucking fortress. Ah, shit. Yeah, fuck that. Not worth it. Because if I die here, it's over. Fuck that. I ain't chancing that. No way. <laughs> Alright, now let's not get clobbered. And at least we have morale increased because of that, which is weird, but I'm just going to go with it. But, uh... Yeah, I'd rather face him the old-fashioned way. There's no way I'll be able to defeat him in a duel in the condition that I'm in. Well, not condition, but... If my attack power is actually stronger, then probably. But, <laughs> yeah, not happening. Or if I had a better weapon, maybe. But in this case, no. And it's bad enough that he shields a lot like a fucking fortress. But more so, he doesn't even fucking flinch from what I'm seeing. So, if that's the case, then I'm really fucked. I mean, that's that's exactly what happened when I played the Battle of Hulao Gate when I was playing Extreme Legends. Or the expansion. In, uh... Dynasty Warriors 3. And the main thing that made it easier was basically the uh, Wei Musu. And I'm not, I don't have that yet. And I'll tell you right now, once I do, it'll make things ten times easier with officers and generals that won't even fucking flinch. In this case, I think the only one that's really that was Lu Bu. Maybe Zhang Fei at Chang Ban, 
I am not entirely sure, but I think that's the only other one. I could be wrong. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played Dynasty Warriors 4, let alone play Dynasty Warriors 4 on, like, Chaos difficulty or something like that. We can't hold them. So I'm just taking my time, charging at my Musu, and make sure he doesn't clobber me because I know three or four hits and I'm dead. I remember that time when I played Dynasty Warriors 6 and I faced Lubu. It didn't matter which fucking difficulty it was. I even played on easy and he didn't even flinch. And I got killed in three or four hits. But at the same time, it's Dynasty Warriors 6. So. And I saw that coming. And it's funny that I can't flinch him, but my bodyguards can. That was kind of intentional. That was not intentional. Okay, let's not play fucking hot potato. Yeah, I don't even think it's worth my time trying to face... Uh, I could have my... You know what? I might as well play a little bit of chicken. Okay, that's that's more than enough. Let's try this. It's really fucking ballsy, but I'm going to go for it. Because at least he'll be flinching every now and then. But now my main concern is two or three hits and I'm dead. That's my only concern. And uh, I might do one more Musu attack unless I'm fucked here. Oh, I think I got him. I think? Yes, I, I got him. Shit. That was fucking close. That was too fucking close. Yeah, I might just go and say fuck it and grab the, uh, grab some, uh, health while I have the chance. And then take it from there. Because all that's left, because what I've seen, they already defeated, uh, yeah, they already defeated Yuan Shao's officers. So all that's left is Lubu. And once we defeat Lubu, Yuan Shao will retreat. Or should retreat, well, I should say. I have, like I said, I haven't really played a stage with Lubu in it. I mean, I was toying around with it, trying to trigger that scene, because I remember seeing it on, uh... Like, I remember seeing it online that you could do that, but... Let's see what my bodyguards could do. And I think they... No, he didn't. Alright. They're all up there. But I don't even think it's gonna matter, because... Even when I use a Musu attack, he's gonna... He doesn't, and it's funny that my bodyguards can make him flinch like it's nothing. Maybe for the fact that the attacks maxed out to the fucking brim. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna do what I can here. I'm not, you know, I have to obviously uh, defeat Lubu here. Otherwise, you know, I can't get the uh, tail. I mean, I can always skip him and defeat Yuan Shao. But I was told that if you defeat Lubu, you want uh, you want Shao freaks the fuck out, like literally freaks the fuck out. But uh, we'll see. Like I said, I haven't seen it, so yeah. Yeah, let's wait for that attack to end. There's a lot of health dropping over here, left and right. Maybe I should charge up my Musu Gauge. I'm only going to be doing this just for the fact that I have that death element. Maybe I should use the charge 4 attack? 
Because we're gonna be here a while. Alright, he got defense. That's never a good sign. And I'm not even getting I'm not even fucking attacking him. Well, there goes one bodyguard. If I have to lose bodyguards, then so be it. Shit. Oh my god. That was fucking close. This might be it. I think I got him. No, I did not. Where are the reinforcements? I almost have him. And Liu Jin just got fucking clobbered. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, now I got him. That could have been so bad. Are you saying there is a terror greater than Lu Bu? No, it can't be. How could I lose to Cow Cow? Curses. Retreat. Retreat. Yeah, I'm staying right here. Fuck that. <laughs> Hell no. There we go. And that's a win. Holy shit. That was so fucking close. I almost died there. That could have been really bad. Anyway, nonetheless, that's a win. And we did it in 13 minutes and 50 seconds. It could have done a little bit faster, I believe, but... Eh. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, items. I don't think I got much from it. No. Okay. Where the opponent? Well, KOs. 121, which isn't half... Bad for the fact that I'm getting nothing but under 100 KOs or less. We only got 73 points from it, but that's pretty much it. A worthy opponent count is 9. We could have gotten maybe, well, at max. If you include playing this stage for the very first time and have Zhang He and Gao Lan both in it, and then Chung Yu Shuang, so that's 12. And you can also include uh, Yuan Shao's uh, officers, so that's 14. And then Lu Wei Kuang, which is uh, 15. But I'm doing with what I have at the moment, so there we go. And like I said before, if you try to unlock Yuan Family Pride, that particular tale, do not do what I did. <laughs> take the easy way and defeat the battle Xiapi first, and then take care of the battle Guandu. That is, um, that is if that's the case that I've unlocked it. I should have unlocked it. If I didn't, that would be really fucking surprised, because I did exactly what it said. And I remember doing that same thing before. The only difference is I have Lubu now. Well, I had a face Lubu. But anyway, with all I said, we have a level 5. We'll keep it at level 5 for now. And... We lost a bodyguard, but we don't have any points nonetheless. Well, the level didn't go up, so... Anyway, we'll save. And... Wait, hang on. Oh yeah, right, that's Act 2 after the vote. Oh. Eliminate Zhang Jiao is after Act 2 for Wei. I'm thinking Shu, and that's after Act 1. But anyway, and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part, where we should be playing the next tale, Yuan's Family Pride. If not, then I'll be really fucking surprised. Anyway, peace out.